Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is game four of the PD Pop MSL round of four, aka semifinals between Zero and Great. Kind of an interesting combination of names, I guess, if you think about it. Zero meaning nothing and great meaning good. But uh, in this case, I think that Zero is the greater player in this case. Uh, great is actually not bad. I mean, I, I didn't really hype him up too much at the beginning of this series because because um, <clears throat> I'm a big Zero fan and all that. But Great is actually a very good player, and I'm not just saying it because he's up 2-1. Um, he's been very, very strong. It used to be the fact that he was the token Zerg for Samsung Khan, and he really couldn't do a whole lot, but he's really been a mainstay of Samsung Khan's lineup, and uh, in some cases actually, you know, the, the, the star when, when Stork has been on a... Uh, on a uh, slump and uh, you know this firebat here is now on Air Force Ace so um, anyway great very very strong player he's actually gotten decently far in other star leagues before so it's not a terrible surprise that he's gotten to this point um, anyway <clears throat> so oh man anyway so uh, great is gonna be the purple Zerg in the bottom left hand corner zero is gonna be the green Zerg in the top right hand corner and we're gonna see if zero can pull it out and uh, get a win and tie the series up bring it to a game five in order to have a chance at winning the set or is great gonna be able to finish out the series with a 3-1 victory and make it to the finals against very likely Jadong and those guys are like oblivious until that moment <laughs> they realized they were on camera, they're like, OH MY GOD! Um, anyway, wow, this has been an, an awesome series thus, thus far, uh, primarily due to Game 2. Game 2, if, you have, if you're somehow watching Game 4, and you haven't watched Game 2 yet, you go watch Game 2. If, if you only watch one Brood War game this entire month, go watch Game 2 of this series. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, zero! Sending out an early drone. Looks like he's going to expand. A um, little bit risky, especially considering last game. Okay, so Great's going to expand as well. He's going to have basically mirror builds at this point. Um, but that's pretty risky. I mean, Zero basically lost the game last game because he went for a 12 hatch versus 9 pool. And then just so many Zerglings. He managed to hold it off, barely. That was actually magnificent how he managed to hold that off, um, that attack with drones and Zerglings. But he just lost so much mining time and lost uh, drones and, and was so behind in the Zerglings and everything that he was too far behind economically. Um, not that far behind economically. If he'd had three extra drones, he would have been fine, basically. But three extra drones is a lot in Zerg versus Zerg. It's, it's, it means, well, as you can see in, the, in game three, it meant, meant the game for Zerg. So, um, anyway, both gonna have they're gonna have mirror builds here, and uh, that's actually pretty good because that means that it's not just gonna be a build or a loss for anyone. Um, and actually, I, I would say that Zero's two losses this series have been build order losses, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, <clears throat> I guess game two you could kind of say was in a, in a sense a build order win for Zero, but not really. It was more like a tactic to go for the the Zergling timing attack. Um, so that's not really a build or a thing, actually, so, anyway. Sorry, my voice is starting to go already, and I have to cast <coughs> a StarCraft 2 tournament later with Peanut, so <laughs> I'm having to drink water. Um, after the series, I'm just going to need to, like, you know, just chill out for half an hour until the uh, <coughs> next series starts. Anyway, drones being made are down there to both players' expansions. Um, pretty standard stuff here, and they're going to start producing Zerglings. Anyway, I like the fact that it's uh, the same build order as what I was going to say before, because then it means that it's, you know, it's going to come down to tactics and skill, and that's really what StarCraft is about and should be about, is, you know, superior tactics and skill. You know, the better the player with the better mechanics, the better micro, the better... Um, <clears throat> tactics, the better thinking abilities, the better game sense is going to win in this kind of situation. So, and that's why you see Jadong win so often in Zerg vs. Zerg, because he's, he's got superior of all those things I listed to everyone. Oh no! Whoa! Zergling sneaking in. They might get a drone! He runs it back to the minerals! Ah! Drone goes down! 
Oh my god, that is huge! Zero learning, a, le leaving, a, losing a drone early is huge. And he tried to micro it away, but he didn't micro his zerglings very well. So uh, I gotta say that, that you know that's actually Zero's fault for losing that drone right there. Um, not the best control of his zerglings. He should have a moved all of his zerglings towards those two. Uh, as he pulled the drone off, and he pulled the drone off, I mean it was good micro, he pulled the drone off uh, towards other minerals three times, but um, it was great was just too persistent in targeting that specific drone, so nicely done on, on Great's part as well, doing that. Anyway, um, Zero is getting a Spire, both players are getting their Spire right now, so it is going to turn into a, a, a mutiling battle into the mid game here and um, <clears throat> we're gonna see what happens there but zero losing a drone early on means he's gonna have a couple extra excuse me a couple less zerglings um, not a couple extra zerglings and also a little bit less minerals in the bank for a couple less zerglings as well it can all cascade from there especially in a mirror mirror build matchup but he has an advantage in this battle though and Zer Z uh, great rather wisely falling back because Zero had much better position there and he actually if he'd gotten in there and killed a few of those Zerglings he could have snuck in a couple drones and it would have been really good for Zero but uh, doesn't manage to get any kills um, in that situation and look at this uh, Great is actually sneaking two Zerglings all the way around the map they're gonna try and run in and kill more oh Zero catches wind of it he's gonna bring his Zerglings back where is uh, Great gonna go though he actually oh Zero had a move to that location he's gonna run those two Zerglings into the main just as the spire pops and Zero is distracted by this Zergling battle in the front of his base he actually has less Zerglings as well he's gonna be forced to run his drones away great doing the same thing that Zero did in the beginning of game two Mutilus popping out he's running his drones away if he's Mutilus can even things up he might be able to come back in this game but Zero taking huge losses here he's lost all of his Zerglings he's not really mining right now Zerglings going after his drones he's gotta run them away he can't lose those drones um, loses a couple drones to these Zerglings though but kills all um, kills all those zerglings. Great in the meantime, building up his own mutilus back at home. I don't think that Zero made enough extra mutilisks during that to make it worth all the stuff that he lost there. Look at this, four three drones on minerals. Oh no, three drones on minerals, and now Zero is gonna have to uh, drone up a little bit here. Um, he's just gonna have to take a risk and drone up and know that uh, because he made so many zerglings, Great had a little bit less air. And he's going to be forced to uh, 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 make some air units there. Oh, nice. Lands a couple Scourge. Uh, hits, Kate takes the Scourge as well, though. Zero microing back. There's a lot of Scourge there. If those Scourge land, Zero's going to lose the game. He needs to micro perfectly to kill off all those Scourge and save his own Mulisks. He is microing pretty well, but he's taken a couple hits from these Scourge. Scourge coming in from both sides. Um, luckily, Great was not microing perfectly with those Scourge, but now he's... Ah! Zero getting another Scourge, and he loses another Mulisk here. And Zero is just going to go for an attack at the main there it looks like he's just trying to keep uh, great occupied zero's scourge coming in as well to try and even things up he needs to engage while the mutalists are engaged with the other mutas though and look at this only like two or three mutas left for for zero it looks like four mutas about um, adding a fifth there for for great so great has a, a slight air advantage if zero can land some of these scourge on those mutalists he's actually in okay shape uh, we can see at least one of those mutalists for great is very badly damaged um Zero in the meantime, hopefully, is droning up a little bit back there. He lands a couple Scourge, but a Scourge takes out another Scourge. He lands another Scourge! Whoa! Zero landing a couple Scourge there, and he's going to camp Scourge above the hatcheries, it looks like. No, he's going to turn around and try and battle those. So Zero actually might be able to micro his way back into this game. He's doing very well with these Scourge here. He's gotten a few more drones back up in his main and his natural. In the meantime, I think he's got enough mineral and, and gas intake to constantly produce mutas off his two hatcheries at this point, um, instead of just having to produce Scourge. Um, oh, losing the Overlord is not good, though. Not good at all. Um, yeah, so Zero trying to micro his way back into this game. There's a lot of Scourge out on the map, though. And Zero has, I'm sorry, Great has a lot of Mulus, so if he can micro against the Scourge, he's going to be able to uh, clinch his, uh, his advantage in this game. Looks like he kills one Scourge and loses, uh, gets hit by another. So, I mean, if you can land one Scourge on a Mulisk out of the set of two, it's, it's cost-effective because then... If their mutas are de badly damaged, if they got 110 damage on them, it's only two more hits from an enemy mutalisk, I believe, um, to uh, to kill them off. Uh, so if you're, all your mutas have taken one hit from a scourge, it's uh, it's um, 
then it, then you're basically your mutas are worthless in, in the battle. The enemy mutas will wipe the floor with them. Anyway, oh Scourge running in. He's trying to oh great doing very very good micro picks them off though. Great um, running some zerglings into the front here trying things out. And while his mutas are running to chase down the zerglings, he runs in the main. Zero wisely running his drones away so he can concentrate on only one battle at a time. Running in, he picks off a couple, a couple of those drones. Zero having a micro against those Scourge while the mutas attack the natural expansion. Um, but he, there was no drones there, so it's not that big of a deal attacking that natural expansion. Uh, Zero, it's hard to tell who has more mutilus at this point. And actually, Zero, um, um, let's see if we can get a count of the, the drones, actually. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or seven, seven or eight drones on minerals for, for great, and only five on minerals for Zero. So we have a similar situation in the last game, actually, where Zero's just a little bit behind. He's not as behind in tech, though, in this situation. Um, and if he can keep uh, getting the landing scourge, Oh, doesn't land... I think one of those Scourge might have landed on enemy Scourge or something like that. Uh, but he needs to land them on Mutas to, to fight his way back into this game. Um, otherwise, he's going to be screwed in the long run. Um, I think he might have a little bit better air army at this point, but it's hard to tell when they clump up their Mutas like that. Oh, no, he loses another Overlord. That is huge. Um, Zero coming in with Mutas from one side. Uh, Scourge from the other trying to target the Mutas with the Scourge. Loses one of them. And Zero is just balanced on the knife edge here. He needs to win this battle by a landslide if he's going to come back in this game. He's got a Scourge of his own there. He needs to land them on the enemy Mutas. He needs to target down. It looks like Zero might be able to target down. Great's Mutas are very badly damaged. And I think Zero probably should have gone for the attack there and tried taking out those Mutas while they were, had no Scourge back up. Um, I think that would have been a better option. Uh, since his, his mutas are badly damaged, I think uh, Zero's been avoiding the Scourge a little bit better. There he runs in and lands some more Scourge. Scourge on Scourge. He's kicking, picking off drones now. Picks off all three of the drones on gas, though. That is huge um, because now he's not going to be able to produce nearly as much air army. Great's going to be able to catch up. Zero trying to micro back from those Scourge. There's only one Scourge left. He can just engage Muta versus Muta once he kills that one Scourge. He does. More Muta's coming in, though, for Great. This could be the last battle. And Zero with Inferior. Inferior, um, mutalist and inferior, uh, I can't even talk, <laughs> so, wow, inferior everything, zero GG's, and great, wins the series, and is gonna move on to the MSL finals, wow, so there goes my prediction of, um, of Zero beating Jadong in the finals. Oh, that is disappointing, and Zero is really disappointed as well. He's gotten to the semifinals, but um, I don't think he's ever gotten to the finals, even though he is a top, top caliber player. That is super disappointing uh, that Zero does not get to the finals, but congrats to Great. You get a silver MSL medal. Congratulations, Great. Um, uh, I'm sure he's gonna enjoy having that silver. I'm sorry, but there's seriously there. I, I don't know. I mean, let's. I'll hold off judgment. I'll hold off judgment. You know, I thought great. I thought zero had it in him to beat Jadong in the finals, and uh, great beat zero three to one. So uh, I can't count him out. You know, who knows what could happen? We, we shall see. Um, but either way. Great, congratulations to him, getting to the finals at the very least. Zero, unfortunately, knocked out. Um, wow, so, GG, I hope you guys enjoyed these matches, um, at the very least, and uh, I certainly enjoyed them. Again, Game 2 <laughs> made the whole series, Game 2 made this entire MSL worthwhile. That was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed um, all of these games, and um, thanks very much for watching. And uh, as soon as I see some VODs and I have some time, I'm going to try and do the other MSL uh, semifinals if I can, if I have time to. But I haven't actually seen any VODs up for them, so I apologize that uh, I won't be able to right now. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to go rest my voice for half an hour before some StarCraft II casting. Luckily, it's a dual cast, which is a little bit easier on the throat. Hope you guys enjoyed all this. Thanks for watching. GG. And... Uh, Props to Zero for a strong showing at the very least.